Hey everyone, on this video of Proof of Make, we will be talking about JP Morgan's Quorum. Quorum is a blockchain solution that allows private transactions. But this one has a lot of special things it's bringing to the table. Speed, flexibility, on top of the battle-tested Ethereum blockchain. How do these things combine? How are they used? And how do I access them now? So now, we're going to sit down with Mike and take a look. Okay, let's try out Quorum with Mike. All right, so we're here at jpmorgan.com slash global slash Quorum. New blockchain technology. This is, yeah. Well, actually, Quorum, Quorum's been around for quite some time. Really? Yeah, it's been it's been around. Uh, they started working on it in 2015, but it hasn't been public since, you know, maybe 2017. Okay, all um, right. So you can actually click here where it says download Quorum. Uh, you get this, you know, very corporate notice uh, that, you know, that you're leaving a website. So they, they, they're very friendly about letting you know you're leaving a website. But JP Morgan is a corporation? Yeah, they're oh, a, little, okay. a tiny corporation. Um, okay. So when you, when you click that, you'll go to... JP Morgan Chase's uh, Quorum GitHub. So we're going to actually show what you can do with it on a usability side, right? Okay. So so there's many ways to deploy. There's, there's a lot, right? So uh, we, you know, essentially, while well, this is, uh, we use Docker, et cetera, et cetera. We went through all the steps and everything, like blah, 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 blah. And we set up some private transactions. We, we did that. Okay. Now, the cool thing is, what we're able to do is use MetaMask. And with MetaMask, we were able to connect to a private network. All right. By default, it's on port 22000. 22,000. Yeah, 22,000 when, when you deploy it with their uh, example code. And so, yeah, it's an Ethereum blockchain. You can see I sent some Ether, right? I deployed a contract. So I actually used our platform, used our smart contract, okay. there, and it worked. So I created a thing called JP Coin. JP, what is JP currency? Uh, JP Morgan. Yes, oh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, all right, all right. So, you know, and on my, this is on my private Quorum blockchain. All right. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I you click. So let's, let's give an example. So I'll, I'll edit this one. I'll call this one. Morgan coin. Morgan coin. A small a coin for small businesses. Yes. Okay. Uh, and so Morgan coin will be a cryptocurrency, and I'll even give this one a higher supply. Right, add a zero to that one. So lot and of so that, that's how much, that's how many tokens. And then um, yeah, it's an asset back token, right? Okay. And uh, actually, you know what? I'll make this one an other security token. So this will be a security token by J by Morgan. Um, I guess I should put a disclaimer. This is not really. Yeah, this is not. By, by JP this Morgan. is not. Yeah, we, we are not affiliated. Yeah, affiliate, yeah, yeah, yeah. We the SME not, yeah, of yes, yeah. JP Morgan. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, click generate token now. So, as you can see, this is a regular Solidity smart contract. If you're familiar with Solidity, this looks fairly familiar, probably to you. Uses safe math, etc. And uh, yeah, it's got all my information that I put in the generator in there. Um, I can burn tokens, create movement tokens, manage them. So, look, Morgan Coin. I kept the. So the the I should probably change the symbol. Can we do that with Tojin? Can Tojin? Ah, oh, looks like we can. Yeah, MPC. All right. Um, as you call it, MC Morgan Coin. All right. So I'll click generate this token now. And now, now it's MC. And now I'll click deploy. Now, what's really interesting? So I'll say yes, deploy. What's really interesting is if you try to deploy this right by default, like usually with an Ethereum blockchain, right. you have to set a gas price. Naturally. Gas. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you you set it, yeah, and you click confirm. But what happens here is it's like no, 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 no. You have to set a gas price of zero. So the way that these private chains work with Quorum is, yeah, every transaction is supposed to be free. Okay. So it, right. great, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to edit this, and I'll set this to zero. It's free. So the private chains. That's one thing you've understood. So private chains are all about free transactions. Right. Right. Within trusted nodes. So I'll click confirm, and boom. So let's say one, two, three. There it is. Three. Yeah. There it is. So it took about three seconds to deploy a smart contract. Contract was deployed. I heard that you know transactions go through in like milliseconds, but and, you know, with this, I mean, to be honest, like, let's let's take a look here. I mean, it might be hard to tell based off of MetaMask, right? MetaMask. Met, yeah, MetaMask. Is, through and that, this is time, true. So. But I actually deployed, like, I can deploy a contract here. So let, let me give an example. And actually, this is a great uh, time to talk about a special feature of Quorum. So here's a very simple smart contract. Now, what you'll notice in, in here is that when I set it up right here, and I'm going to zoom in on this. There's a thing called private four. Private four. Right. I've never seen that before. Yeah. So you know, you set your gas. It's like this is like MetaMask, right? Right. So you have your gas price. You have you know all that just like we saw at MetaMask, except you have private four. Now you put in here public keys. So I put okay. this is my so not the address. Yeah, I can put not the address, the public key, which is you know they're they're connected to yeah, each other. Right. So I put in a public key here for my Ethereum address. Okay. And I can put as many, and those are the only people who can actually see the smart contract. So. So now look, watch, I'll go here and make this small again so you can see. So I'll, I'll click enter. 
And then, yeah, that, that's how long it took. Uh, wait, two, three, boom. There we go. Then it's mined. So it takes a little bit of time, right? So I'll do that again. I'm gonna deploy another contract very similarly. Boom, transaction hash, right? Wait for the confirmation. Okay, now it is. So yeah, so, that, so that, that's that's the speed you're talking about, Okay. right? So in real life, I'd say so about a, a second, second confirmation. But that's time. a contract deployment. Like it, yeah, contract it, deployment. It, yeah, well, it's, yeah, yeah. it's just data, yeah, it's just data. Yeah. It's just data. Yeah. So um, that's, so that's how so that's how that works. Right. So just the, the private four sets. These are the so what private four means is only this address and all the other addresses I put in there okay. can actually interface with this contract and see the data inside of it. So you can store private data inside of smart contracts, right? On a chain where a lot of participants might be. Um, so I've heard that they might even be launching a mainnet for a lot of people to join in on. Um, right. it's, it's still it's still early. So that's a look at what a, a lot of what you can see with uh, JP Morgan's corn product. All right, right on. I'm curious about where exactly this goes next. There's a lot of, I mean, we, we've all heard of Hyperledger, we've heard of Quarter, and we've deployed them ourselves. We've experimented with all of we these have. things as well. We and have. I have to say, of all of them that we've looked at, this is the easiest one we've had to set up. Well, because it's just a theory. It's based on a theory. And it just has yeah. extra features on top of that, yeah. Right, and I, th I think that's a really wise thing to do. But at the same time, I'm also really interested in seeing what kind of integrations they're going to have with the main chain. Because how does this interact, or will it interact, or does it matter if it interacts with an Ethereum chain yeah. as well? And I think with the upcoming Plasma, mm -hmm. it'll be really interesting to see if some of the side chains could be quorum chains. Exactly. And then you have the privacy oh, there, and yeah. then they could they could interact. And, right. and they're, they're doing a lot with uh, also with ZK Snarks. They already have an implementation in here. Right. Um, and so, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, I mean, I think this is a let's see what happens. But this is really promising, and I think enterprises, if they're going to use a blockchain, having a solution like this available is really great. Does this have a uh, pluggable consensus? Is it always, is it proof okay, of yeah. whatever? Great, great question. So, so what's most commonly used is the RAF consensus algorithm. Okay. Really fast, it's for distributed systems. Right. Um, and so this is, and but you can, but it has pluggable consensus, but RAF is definitely what the what the majority of people are using for their consensus. All right, right on. Very so yeah, good. so yeah, so that's, uh, that, that's an early look at Quorum, Quorum. by JP Morgan. Quorum yeah. by JP Morgan. Are we, do we have a Quorum? I think we have a quorum. All right.